TSTN, the world's only television network dedicated to helping you be more successful. Visit TSTN.com for more information. When speaking about success, there's a lot of names that come to my mind, but one of the top names when it comes to mental training success is Bob Proctor. He's been doing this for 40 years. He's truly a master. He's been a friend, a coach, a mentor of mine for over 10 years. It was so amazing the things that uh, he opened my eyes to. My life has literally transformed. You can hear Bob in everything that I teach because I've truly learned it from one of the very best. Stop and ask yourself, what do you really want? See, the only prerequisite is, can you see it? Can you see it on the screen of your mind? If you can see it on the screen of your mind, you're quite capable of doing it. And then can you believe it? See, Napoleon Hill said there's a difference between wishing for something and being ready to receive it. He said no one's ready to receive it until they believe that they can acquire it. The state of mind must be belief and not mere hope or wish. And where does belief come from? It's in all the good books. It's throughout the Bible. It's throughout the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran, the Torah. You've got to believe. James Allen talks about it through his books. William James said, believe and your belief will create the fact. Well, my old mentor, Leland Bell Van de Waal, he laid it out for me one day. He said, our belief system is based upon our evaluation of something. And frequently, if we reevaluate the situation, our belief about that situation will change. It took me nine years to figure that out. That's how my life changed. I started to believe in me. I started to find out things about me. Do you know that your central nervous system is the most complex electrical system in the whole universe? There's nothing like it. It would make the electrical system in a supercomputer look like a toy. Do you know that the blood in your body circulates through hundreds of miles of passageway? In, in 33 seconds, it carries all the food in and all the garbage out in one sweeping change. If you just stop and think of all the muscle movements have to be made for you just to write your name. There's something so phenomenal about you. You've got to believe in yourself. You just have to. And then you do it. You see it, you believe it, and then you do it. Stop and think of a person climbing a wall of ice, a vertical wall of ice. How do they do it? How do they do it? Well, they're on the ground. They know they're on the ground. They see themselves at the top of the wall. They've got the equipment. They've got the shoes. They've got the spikes. They don't know the steps they're going to take. They can only see themselves where they want to go. They know where they're going. They know where they're going to get there. They put one pick in, and then they put another pick in. And then they move one foot, and then the other foot. And then they adapt to the change in their conditions, their circumstance, and their environment. They're not on the ground anymore. They're suspended on a vertical wall of ice. And they adapt to the change, and then and only then will they see the next step. And they move this hook up, and this hook up, this foot, and this foot. And then they adapt to the change in their conditions, their circumstance, and environment. And then and only then will they see the next step. Do you know that's how you're going to get to your goal? That's how Hillary got to the top of the mountain. That's how Edison built the light bulb. That's how we've got the Internet. That's how we've got the email. And that's how you're going to reach your goal. See the rest of this show and many others like it only on TSTN. Visit our website to learn more. You never think of driving your car by looking in your rearview mirror. Why do you go through life like that? Let's quit thinking in reverse. Let's go of the past. Focus on the future.